Hello Watcher and Subscribers, here in this tutorial we are going to see how we can perform database connectivity in Visual Basic. So for this purpose we are going to have Microsoft access for storing the information permanently. Because what happens in application when you don't use a database then your data is temporary in the program. Okay. But when you want to save data permanently, then we need database connectivity in your program. So here we have already done designing part. We have two text box, two label, okay. And we have some buttons for performing various operations with the database, okay. So here in this program, along with that, we need one more control that is the data control in this program so this is what our data control when we run the program you can make it in hide mode also because it is just required for connecting your database to your data control okay so this is what the data control which will produce the connectivity with your file so here in this program you have to perform certain steps so i have written that step and i am reading also for your understanding so here you have to use uh, add-ins option for adding usual data manager then you select microsoft version and you have to create the file in the third step and your file will be microsoft access okay so first we will perform that so this is add-ins option visual data manager then in file you select a new option then select microsoft access 7.0 so here i am giving a name vd3 name is my microsoft access file name then here i am clicking on save after clicking that you have to create a table okay so for that you right click on property select new table then you have to give table name, add fields and close it. Add field means you have to create a columns. Okay. So here this is a property. Right click according to the instruction. Then click on the new table. And here you have to create a table. Our table name is school. And then you have to add column. For that you click on the add field option. And then our first field name will be name then here as it is we have the type here if you want you can change also and its size is 50 okay and the other options are there if you want this is a compulsory field then you can click it here okay then next one will be roll number and uh, here you can select any value suppose i am selecting long it is also a required field and then click on ok then finally we want only two columns so then you build the table and then you can close it so here our main uh, steps is completed means we have created a file table and the columns in the table okay then next step is that you have to connect that all the data uh, connectivity to your program so for that you have to select data control we have already added and then select a database name and our database file name is vd3 so that you have to connect to the data control okay so we will do this this is our data control so here our property is database name so in that database name you have to select your file it was vd3 and uh, then you have to select a table also then for selecting a table you required a record source property okay so here you have to check record source property and here your record source is school then once it is done 
then our next step will be this text box because that text box data will be stored in the file in ms access file so here these two text box as we are using for input it should be connected with the column name so how it will be connected for that you have to use a property like data source and data field so here i am selecting text box and then we have to go to the data source and data field property so our data source will be data one why we are using here data one because that data uh, one is connected with our file and table then our data field will be name then next one again you have to set a same property with the data source that will be data one and the data field will be the roll number okay so finally we have done it almost then this control i want to make it height because i don't want to see when our application is running so here visible property will be what false okay so our code uh, means connectivity part is completed and in the next step we have to write a code so here we will use a name property of data control that is the data one and then record set and then we have to write here add new okay so by using this statement we can add the record so this is a command one button then command two is so here i will copy this code and here we will use move property that is a move next okay i will just check our button is next so it is a move next next i will again copy this code then here move previous we have to use then our next button is save and then deleted so for save we will use update and then here we will use delete and uh, our code is almost completed so once again i cross check I, by mistake i have written here actually i don't need this event so here i will write delete and uh, then here it's uh, end one so we will write here end it will close the application and now here we will run the code i will explain this code for you by using this statement the record will be added and that record will be stored okay in data and our data control is connected to our file so it is stored in the file then by using this statement we can go to the next next record we can go to previous record and here we can save the record because our command for is nothing but save button by using delete we can delete the record then last one we can close the application so here we are running it so here then by using again add button we can add we can add a next record so here in this way you can add the records and by using this next button we can go to next record by using previous we can go to previous when you do any changes you can go for the save if you want to delete you can delete the record and then by using end button you can end the application so in this way it will work out and uh, this all data will be stored in the microsoft access file and that file is vd3 so i hope dear student you understood this uh, database connectivity program and you practice for your better understanding so thanks for watching this tutorial thank you